Hi, my name is Patrick and I own Fieldworks Software. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through our latest software product called DisplayWorks. DisplayWorks is a scoreboard software solution. It's easy to use, it's robust, and it's relatively low cost. It's going to be available from January in 2023 from Fieldworks.app. And this is the main setup screen of DisplayWorks. Now do keep in mind it is a pre-production build, so things might look different by the time it's released, but it should look relatively close to this. And it should also be relatively easy to understand, even without seeing the program before. This sets your, your actual screen size. This selects the number of results lines you're gonna run. This sets the typeface. This sets your source. And then there are options down below that are dependent on the source. Over here, we can set the actual font sizes and then here we set all of our colors. So uh, let's, when we switch to the board right now, we can see we have a big board that is 1368 by 720. If we click on the board, we go back to the setup screen and we can set up a different board, different board size. So everything will now fit into that board size. Um, probably need to come down on the font, but we can go ahead and set the colors. Boom, boom, boom switch to the board, and then we can display some data. Doesn't look great, but that's important to note because that's why we need to actually set up the board as we would like it to look. So let's come down on the data sizes here, and then go back to the board. And really, this is the first rule that I have learned in developing this program, is that it's incumbent upon you to figure out what size of text and font and everything that you need in order to display your results reasonably. Um, in this particular case, this, this is not a terrible looking board. It's certainly an odd dimension. I have unfortunately run into a board that's roughly that size, but a little bit more reasonable. Uh, you know, a lot of boards are going to be 16 by nine. And so we go back to this board and refresh the data from finish links. We have a board that looks fine, but it's not really taking advantage of all the space that we could have access to. So let's go back in and let's pump these dimensions back up a little bit. And when we use a transition, we are having the data come in just a little bit more softly, kind of fades in really quickly, as opposed to jumping in place. But that looks pretty good. That's a very readable board. We can turn off transitions and we can come back in. You can see that the data will just boom. In the coming weeks, as we lead up to launch in January, we are going to be posting more tutorial videos about how to set up your inputs and how to set up a background image. But please keep in mind that during the first month of launch is going to be on sale for 10% off all the way across the board. All licenses will be 10% off. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Be happy to get back to you. And thank you for watching.